Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at a young lady from Raquel Welch. Her name is Classic Cool, and I have her in the color Golden Wheat. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're looking at a really short, sleek bob by Raquel Welch, who goes by the name of Classic Cool. I have her in the color SS1488, which is golden wheat. And she is a shaded root. And this is her. So let's take a look at all of what she's about, okay? All right, so right off the bat, she is very low density. In fact, her weight is 2.75 ounces. I've got her in her zigzag part and I haven't disturbed her outside of that, haven't brushed her or anything so you could see what she looks like. Oh my goodness, you wanna take a look at her on the mannequin, don't you? So this, this is what she looks like on the mannequin, very sleek. She has tapered razor cut edges and you can see there's some shorter layers going down to that very nice clean neckline. She has some layers around the face, some longer fringe, as well as a shorter wispy bang that you can either take advantage of as a bang or you can sweep it off to the side to be a side sweat bang. Okay, well let's take a look. Here is her undisturbed zigzag part. Now this young lady is part of the Vibrolite um, fiber uh, product line and she's part of Raquel Welch's signature line. Um, she only, she's not a, a heat friendly uh, fiber, but she is. So let's take a look at her cap construction. She is a temple to temple lace front. It goes all the way half. Oh my gosh, look at what happened. Look what they did with that temple um, lace front. <laughs> it chopped off the top half of the um, ear tab. And it's like that on both sides. So we have a more extensive lace front that goes down and includes much of your sideburn area. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what that looks like on. Okay, and of course, metal stays in the ear tabs, an extended covered nape, which is soft and velvety with Velcro adjusters on the right and left hand side. We have a memory cap three in the cap construction as well. And then a mono part going up the left side. Isn't that wonderful? And that gives you a lot of width right here at the front of your hairline in order to part it either very extremely over to the left or even more centered. So you've got some good flexibility with this. Of course, we have closed cap around the temp or the <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the crown, the crown, <laughs> and on the right hand side. So this is going to be a wonderful little wig. Very sleek, very oh low density. My goodness. So if you really need a low density wig and you love a little bob this could really be the answer for you. Okay, now we'll read about her dimensions when I put her on and maybe a little bit more information. But what I have on right now is Raquel Welch Trendsetter in the color Hazelnut or Shaded Hazelnut. And I love this color, it's such a beautiful color. Anyway, I did a review on her. I'll put that right up here so you can watch it. And let's go ahead and try on Classic Cool. Okay, this is her. She is just a cute little bob. Oops, looks like I need to straighten her out, don't I? Get my ear tabs on a little bit straighter. There we go. And, all right, let's look at this hairline. It looks gorgeous. And look at the coverage over to the temple. This is where the lace front stops, right down here. My goodness, that's low. Isn't that wonderful? So you can really take advantage of, <laughs> I got a couple little hairs hanging down, but you can really take advantage of this little lace front to come off of your face. Oh my goodness. And if this was in 
your own bio color, you could easily, easily put this behind your ears. The density is so amazing. Very low density, easy to wear, simple. Now remember we talked about those little bangs. So we could conceivably cut a little bit of bang in there and that would be so cute. But she's got razor cut edges all along the face and jawline area. I'll do, I need to do a spin, don't I? <laughs> so let's go around so you can see how sleek and how easy she is. Oh my goodness. Very lightweight, very simple. Okay, and then of course we already looked at the hairline, but can you see the part? Do you see the part? I did not comb that yet. So let me run a little brush through that, just along, lightly along that area and see how she behaves, okay? So we can add a little bounce in this bang, but can you see how cute she would be with just a slightly wispy bang and how darling this wig is. My goodness, the, the density is amazing. Very, very nice. Okay, so we can pull her up and off. You can, you know, the fibers are light enough, the density is light enough that I'll bet you if I did just this and used a little bit of hairspray, she would stay like this all day long. Oh my gosh, this is such a great little wig. Okay, let's talk about her, alrighty? Like, get my glasses on. Okay, so the front is five and a half inches. The crown is seven. The side is four and a half. The back is six and a half. The nape is two inches and she weighs 2.75 pounds, like I said earlier. Of course, she's not heat friendly, but she's made of the synthetic fiber, the Vibrolite Raquel Welch fiber. She's part of their signature line. And she comes in a size petite and a size low average. Isn't that wonderful? And petite is brand new for right now. So that's a great addition because there's just, it's hard to beat this really simple little, little bob, isn't it? So easy. And I usually, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of a Timeless by Jacqueline Smith in the way that she is cut and styled. And I would look for a silver rooted color in this and I would wear it certainly behind my, my ears and maybe even with that little bit of a bang put back inside there because I love that look. And for every day, and it's just a real easy look to, to manage. Okay, she comes in 18 different non-rooted Vibrolite colors and she also comes in nine rooted colors as well. So we've got a lot to choose from, but my goodness, that temple, I've never seen the ear tab chopped off like that. But I love the fact that they've extended that even more and they still have that ear tab with the metal stay. That makes this cap feel so secure. What? Oh my gosh, I'm just tickled. I'm tickled, tickled, tickled. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Her part is always going to be on the left, but what we can do is we can play with this lace front. So we can extend that part. Like I said, you know, it's very wide right here in this section. So we could easily extend that part down here and kind of go up towards the crown and then lift that up and off the face style that and you know what oh this is really this is very sleek and chic isn't it and of course if this was matching your skin or your hair your bio hair that would be great otherwise you could conceivably leave a little bit of the sideburn area down and play up the front bang, isn't that something? Okay, let me put a headband on her, okay? So we could take our favorite square band, whichever one that happens to be, pull that up and back. 
and hold that in place and leave the sideburn area. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. That's darling. We can't go anywhere without our square bands, can we? Okay, that is so cute. I love this hairline. It's impeccable. It's gorgeous. Alrighty, so let's see. Well, we can't do a whole lot with the rest of this because she's meant to be just a razor cut. But I think we can add a little bit of water and let's see what that'll do for the top here. Just in styling. And it'll mimic what we can do with hairspray, right? So look, you can get a little bit of height right here in front and just easily sleek that back. Oh my gosh, I can tell my customers are going to love this little wig. They're going to, yeah, in any color, in any color, because it's so simple and easy to wear. And it's got that beautiful hairline. And of course we have that beautiful highlighting around the face. Oh my gosh, this is such, this is such a great little wig. Let me turn around again for you, but you, it's hard not to really appreciate her isn't it? Very, very nice. Okay, so we're going to take this wire headband and we're going to set it up here just right in the middle and we're going to put it right behind the ears and then we're going to tie it underneath the bob. And then just kind of pull some of that out and let that stay there. And we can wear this as a headband. Isn't that darling? Make sure that you have enough covering it so that you've got it styled the way you like, but it's okay to leave this out on the bottom. So cute, so cute. Let's try going outside, okay? Look at how easy this is staying up. Oh my gosh, and that's just water. I think it's because of the density, the low density, it's very low density. And so those hair fibers are not weighted down because of the length and they're short enough to stay put. So this beautiful Vibrolite color is used very, very well in this particular wig styling and density. Okay, let's head outside, okay? So here she is outdoors in the filtered daylight we've got high clouds but look at this color isn't it gorgeous and it it does have some highlight and low light colors throughout her doesn't it Ooh, noisy plane huh <laughs> oh anyway so gorgeous color lots of fun very nice razor cut edges around the face just enough to accentuate those cheekbones. And let's look at that root color too. Very nice. Very nice. Behind the ears. Casual, sporty, low density, easy to wear. And that lace front to die for, isn't it? All right, let's go take her back inside. So that's going to do it for our Young Lady Classic Cool. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. And you guys have a great week. I will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.